We are back now with a huge international music superstar. Carol G kicked off this holiday weekend for us in style mm -hmm. with a party on the plaza. Fans coming out in force, and no surprise, she's got billions of YouTube <laughs> views and streams. I pulled up this morning, I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> Her album, Manana Cero Bonito, dropped earlier this year. The superstar from Colombia became the first female artist to debut at number one on the Billboard 200 chart with an all Spanish language album. She is performing one more song off that record. Rec setting album but first she's come inside to catch up with us Carol G good morning good again. morning, good morning. Hey. I mean obviously it's an understatement to say there was a huge crowd outside. I mean like the biggest crowd we've ever had and they're all here for you but this this was you're not an overnight success I mean you've been working at this for a long time for a long time like uh, th since 2006 I think it was my first time like my parents signed my mm -hmm. first contract and wow. until this I like I really love everything i love all the process because i think you have to fail mm -hmm. in love with the process mm -hmm. when you're in this point that's what it's gonna make you mm -hmm. like even Appreciate getting surprises it. every yeah. day and i'm yeah. super shocked about what is happening outside like the energy is so special i have to say like we're having a great time right mm -hmm. like even when we're shooting something and we go to commercials we're, we're still having fun yeah, yeah. we're yeah. still having yeah. fun so i am really grateful and i had to thank all of you that are supporting me the way you you are doing it. I'm super happy. I can't mm, like I can't wait to celebrate with my team. <laughs> your your enthusiasm and excitement is so infectious, and it seems you've posted these Instagram photos, these throwbacks of you uh, growing up, and it seems like your love of music <laughs> and, and this joy is in there. Have you always have you always been a musical force? You always. Like? When like my father, he always wanted to be a singer and he didn't have like the opportunity so when he realized that I like music so he put me like I studied everything music instruments like different things and he was my first manager even wow. we are like we are two people in our team my father and, and I and after 10 years we just started like having these different meetings about people being interested in what we were doing mm -hmm. and it is so special for me right now to celebrate that my family were with me all the time because I think my that, that my confidence came because they support Absolutely. me they believed in me so yeah it's an invitation I for love your that. parents <laughs> yes yes for your kids please. here's here's what I love about your story as well it's like you said this didn't happen overnight uh, before you landed this record deal so you auditioned for I think it was uh, the Colombian version of X Factor didn't really work and there was a moment where you were like I don't know if this is gonna work and then look at this it's such a testimony. And you know what? what? Like, uh, I realized that my music was my thing after I left it really? here in New York. Really? Like really? between New York and Boston, I was just like studying different things. You were going to give up or walk away from it? Yeah. I just, in the 2012, I was like, okay, I'm, like, I'm done. I'm done. And this industry is so hard and, yeah, and yeah. it's like it takes a lot of you yes, your yes. soul and everything so i just stopped doing it like my father was super upset with me we stopped like talking <laughs> oh like for more than three months and and then i was here just taking my subway because i, I studied english here in, in manhattan mm -hmm. and there was like a big billboard about music conference in boston no and I was, like every day like oh my god no <laughs> but again please not again and i went and it was like another i studied music in colombia in the university but here it was like more about the business. Mm -hmm. So I realized that I can, this, like what I love and what I feel passion to do, it, it could be my business too. Mm -hmm. So I went back to Colombia and until this the rest day. Is history. The rest is history. And, and amazing. what about, I, we talked about earlier in the show, the new Barbie movie that's coming out soon. <laughs> Your song featured in the Barbie movie. I mean, now you're, you're just a part of like pop culture. <laughs> And that's that for me. That's the crazy thing. Like first, when you try to try to just uh, get in love with your Latina community, but for me right now, like being here, <laughs> like being in this place, is more than just a language. It's just going like more than that. Different culture, different countries. It, that's for me mm -hmm. something that I, I'm not still like, you know, getting. And it. you've even got the pink going for both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have my hair like this. It's funny. You know what you have done? You, you know, you have the Spanish language album. You've had the big. We've had some big names here yeah. at the Today Show, the biggest names, yep. right? And you have had the largest crowd. That says so <laughs> much. And I love that you're allowing yourself to receive it. Yeah. So yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Thank amazing. you so much. And thank you for having me. You don't know, like, this means the world to me. So thank okay. you so much, well, everybody. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.